The Manx Museum is 100 years old this year. It is home to an extraordinary collection of artefacts and archives that help tell the story of the Isle of Man and its people. To celebrate our centenary, we have curated a special exhibition and podcast, Museum 100, which will feature a kaleidoscope of treasures from our collections. Hello, my name's Laura McCoy and I'm the Natural History Curator for Manx National Heritage. And today I am looking at a tray of eggs. And there are several different types of eggs here, from varying species like peregrine falcons, um, grouse, um, pheasant, um, pigeons. And the reason why I picked the eggs to go on display is because I think that they're a really great example of um, illustrating conservation because it is now illegal to collect birds eggs. The reason why egg collecting was made illegal is because some species were becoming so rare from the amount of eggs that were being collected um, and so it was in the 1950s that it was actually banned. As a museum we can still collect eggs if they are deemed from a source which is legitimate such as as from the calf of man wardens or um, officers from DEFA or if they're donated to us from uh, people who have had a collection that's very old so collected before the ban was in place. Egg collections have been used in the past for scientific analysis so when we used um, DDT which was a pesticide um, it was found that certain birds were starting to become very rare particularly raptors and birds of prey and that's because um, the concentrations of DDT that was sprayed on crops um, was increasing up the food chain to the point where um, eggs were becoming very thin and breaking in the nest and so many birds were not able to breed and numbers dropped drastically and the ability to find this out was analysed by using eggs and measuring the thickness of their shells. So these collections can be really useful um, and so this is why it's still important to keep these collections and maintain them today.